that mm -hmm. family. All right, now to our crime watch. Four victims and more than 180 rounds fired in a Midtown shooting early yesterday morning. Today, businesses are speaking out, sharing how the hookah lounge was already a concern before this last weekend. Yeah, Kega 9's Rorina Preciado was there yesterday and followed up again today. Here's what she's learned so far. After a violent weekend, business is back to normal here on Swan and Speedway. Many of the businesses that had to close because of the shooting as detectives gathered evidence have now reopened. But the bullet holes in broken glass remain. Manager Daniel Calderon shows the fresh damage, but it's not the first shooting. Surveillance showing just months ago another outbreak of violence. Well, it's just always been an issue. He says people come to the parking lot of this hookah lounge just after 2 a.m., where one person was found shot early Sunday. That's just across from the plaza where more shots were fired, while two others in critical condition were found north of Speedway. The fourth victim went straight to a local hospital. And these are young kids. It has to stop. The city of Tucson Ward 6 office is aware of the issue, and Councilmember Karen Ulick says she's looking at solutions. There has to be a way. Um, to clear that area when the, the businesses are closed to prevent this kind of um, just devastating violence. So I just looked up when this hookah lounge would be open again, and it looks like that's not until Thursday. So in the meantime, we've reached out to the owners to try to get a response, and we will keep you updated as this story develops. Reporting from Midtown near Swan and Speedway, Rainer Preciado, KGUN 9.